Hi everyone. Welcome to Life and Beyond where we create content to make lives better. Today everyone is going behind skin care and fairness. Though the most important thing is to own one's own skin, whatever color it is, whatever texture it is, there's nothing wrong in going behind fairness as long as you have a complete information about it. Let's hear from the specialist. Hi, welcome to Life and Beyond channel. I am Dr. Pratisha Mukundan, consultant dermatologist and cosmetologist. Today, one of the booming treatments is the glutathione. Every youngsters as well as lot of persons in the uh, film industry are behind glutathione. So is glutathione a magic drug? Does glutathione produce wonders to your body in the form of skin lightening? We will discuss in detail about glutathione. So what is glutathione? Glutathione, it is a low molecular weight, water soluble, triol thiopeptide which is seen in the body. It's actually a component of three amino acids. Actually it is made up of three amino acids, glycine, cysteine and glutamate. Glutathione is found in the body in the reduced form as well as in the oxidized form. The reduced form of glutathione is a potent antioxidant which is seen in the body. This antioxidant action of glutathione is very helpful for producing significant skin lightening. So glutathione and skin pigmentation. Before we discuss about how glutathione produces skin lightening, let us see in short about how our skin gets the color. The color of the skin is mainly due to a pigment called melanin. So everybody knows about melanin. This melanin is produced in the body from the melanocytes and it is mainly by a biochemical pathway. In this pathway, tyrosine is the first thing which is being formed and from tyrosine, by the action of tyrosinase enzyme, we get dopa. From dopa, we get the dopaquinone and from dopaquinone, we have the eumelanin and pheomelanin. Actually, eumelanin is dark brown in color and pheomelanin is yellow red in color. So the focus should be more production of pheomelanin. So what glutathione does is, it mainly acts at the level of tyrosinase enzyme. As I have already told, tyrosine gets converted to dopa by the enzyme tyrosinase. So if we get a drug or a product that acts at this level, it can significantly reduce the production of melanin. So once melanin production is reduced, that means you will get a lighter pigmentation or a lighter skin tone. So the mechanism of action of glutathione is mainly three. First one, inhibition of tyrosinase enzyme. Second, it decreases the intracellular transport. And third mechanism is by its potent antioxidant action. One thing which we have to keep in our mind is about the skin type. We know as a dermatologist, we actually divide the skin types into six types that is called as the Fitzpatrick skin grading or the skin typing, among which the Indian skin comes under type 3 to type 4. So one thing we have to keep in mind, whatever skin lightening agents, including glutathione, which we use for skin lightening, never changes the type of the skin it actually decreases the skin color or it produces lightening of the skin to a shade one or two less. That is just the action of any skin lightening agents which we are using nowadays. So what are the sources of glutathione? We have got the natural sources of glutathione, mainly glutathione seen in fresh fruits, vegetables as well as nuts. It is found that glutathione is seen in high amounts in tomato, avocados, walnuts and oranges. So better have these natural sources of glutathione. But of course there are other preparations of glutathione available. And currently the available preparations of glutathione 
we have the oral preparations, the parenteral preparations and the topical preparations. So orally we have the tablets, effervescent tablets and the other tablets which is available. Is this glutathione FDA approved? There is a big question mark. Actually glutathione is used from long days for the treatment of chronic liver disease, for Alzheimer's disease as well as in the case of neurotoxicity which is produced due to cisplatin chemotherapy. Cisplatin is a drug which is used in treatment of carcinoma of the bladder. So it is found that or researchers found that those patients who use high dose of glutathione for long term they found the lightening of the skin in such patients. So actually researchers told that this is a side effect of glutathione. So this side effect of glutathione helped the dermatologist to open a gate into the field of dermatology by taking this glutathione as a skin lightening agent. Definitely it is not FDA approved. Oral preparations as I have already told the FDA has categorized glutathione as generally safe drug. Though it is not FDA approved for skin lightening but FDA has said that it is a generally safe drug this oral preparations. So oral tablets we have effervescent tablets available the dose of these tablet is 20 to 40 milligram per kg body weight. Usually we give this in divided doses. When will you get the result? This is the next question the clients are asking us. When will we get the result? Again I am saying we are Indian population, we are uh, the grade 3 to 4 skin type. So for us to see a visible result we should wait at least for 3 months. If you are a dark skin person you have to wait at least for 6 to 12 months or I will say at least wait for about 2 years. So see this much of long duration of therapy is needed for oral glutathione. So orally this drug is taken, it is absorbed in the upper jejunum and it is excreted by the kidney. And it is seen that this oral bioavailability of this drug is very low. That is why this much of long time is taken for getting visible results. Now once you get a visible result, say after 2 years you get a skin lightening, can you stop this drug? definitely no. Then we have to uh, reduce the dose and take the maintenance dose. So what is the maintenance dose? It is 500 mg daily you have to use this tablet. How long? As a dermatologist I will say I cannot say up to this period you have to take. Maintenance therapy is indefinite. How long you want to maintain your skin lightening you have to take glutathione. So that is oral glutathione. Now coming to the other preparations, we have the topical preparations, we have topical creams. I have already said that this is a low molecular weight uh, molecule but the size of this molecule is very big. So it is found that though we use topical preparations, the absorption is very minimal. So the result is not so good in case of topical preparations. But there are lot of drugs which has been marketed as glutathione creams for skin lightening. So how they produce skin lightening? This is my personal point of view. All these drugs which has been marketed contains various other skin lightening agents. Along with glutathione these creams have this kojic acid, l ascorbic acid, then uh, other depigmenting agents like acylic acid etc. So the skin lightening which you get by using glutathione creams may be due to these skin lightening other skin lightening agents which is present in that creams. As a dermatologist I will say pure glutathione as a topical cream the absorption is very minimal and the result is also very minimal. So if you are using a glutathione cream always combine with other skin lightening agents. So that is topical preparations. Topically glutathione soaps are also available as well as glutathione uh, face washes are also available but their uh, action is all very very minimal. So coming to intravenous glutathione, so why we are using this intravenous glutathione therapy? As I have already told 
oral glutathione the bio bioavailability is very low so to increase this it is used very commonly among the population of uh, the filipino countries so the fda of the philippines on may 20 2011 they have given a public awareness as this uh, use of high dose of intravenous glutathione is not safe to the body this was a public warning given by the fda of the philippines because their high amount of intravenous glutathione was given so when will we prefer intravenous glutathione so those persons who is not satisfied with oral glutathione therapy or those who need more amount of skin whitening definitely you can go for intravenous glutathione therapy we cannot straight away start an iv therapy before that we have to see the patient see the skin type of the patient do all the baseline investigations and if everything is normal you can start intravenous glutathione therapy actually iv therapy uh, it is available as 600 mg injections and the dose it is between 600 to 1200 mg uh, we are giving it in normal saline along with injection vitamin c this is given as a uh, intravenous injection in the normal saline fluid so it will take about one to one and a half hours for the whole therapy session and once the session is finished the patient should wait there for one hour and if there is no side effects or no skin rashes etc the patient can go home but this is not as easy as what i have said now this should be done under or done strictly by a trained dermatologist the duration the frequencies of intravenous therapy depends upon different dermatologists and another thing is it depends upon the expectation of the patient and also the experience the treating dermatologist have so always have realistic expectations in glutathione so the usual protocol which we can follow or which we usually follow in the case of iv glutathione is you can give alternate day injections for one week the next week you can give three days this injection in the third week two days in the fourth week only one day so a session is completed you will get a significant skin lightening i am again saying you will get a significant skin lightening your skin type is not changing you will get a significant skin lightening so after one month can you stop this therapy definitely no because again melanin synthesis can occur so you have to have a maintenance therapy in the form of uh, monthly two sessions or monthly sessions till you need this skin lightening to sustain in your life so that is intravenous glutathione so is there any side effects for intravenous glutathione therapy as i have told this is an iv drug we are using lot of other iv drugs any iv drug has got complications like anaphylaxis or skin rashes or to the most steven johnson syndrome this is the same with glutathione also so it is very important under strict aseptic precautions by a trained dermatologist only this iv glutathione can be administered the other side effects which we come across in iv glutathione is the patient may complain of the uh, lightening of this hair color or whitening of this hair color why this happens again the color of the hair it is again melanin dependent so this melanin production is being decreased so the patient may complain of whitening of the hair but this is a temporary side effect it will this uh, color of this hair will return back to normal once you stop this treatment or by due course of this treatment the other side effect which the patient usually complains is just appearance of white patches in the skin but actually i will say that this is not a side effect this is actually the effect of glutathione because once we start glutathione initially what we are seeing is the patchy white areas of the skin slowly this patchy white areas slowly as this treatment goes on this becomes generalized and you will get a even skin tone and a normal lightening of the skin so patchy pigmentation is definitely we cannot categorize it under a side effect of glutathione the other side effect which i'll say purely it is theoretical purely it is theoretical it is 
if we see this glutathione produces or it causes the conversion of eumelanin to pheomelanin. So, if long term this conversion occurs, there are chances of development of skin cancer mainly melanoma. But this is a theoretical side effect, purely a theoretical side effect and we are not giving high doses of glutathione for long periods. Usually it is said that once you uh, give a dose of 30,000 mg of glutathione in the body, you should give a break that is called as a glutathione break. This break is given for say 2 months or 3 months. So initially before starting glutathione, you should do the liver function test, renal function test and after 2 months again you repeat this test and see everything is normal. And after this glutathione break, if the patient again wants glutathione, you can restart this glutathione. So definitely we are giving a break in between. So the side effect which I told, there are chance of developing of melanoma still remains theoretical. Clinically, we have not seen a case of melanoma. So, this is glutathione, the various formulations available. So, one thing we have to keep in mind is always if you are going for an intravenous glutathione therapy, always consult a trained dermatologist. Never go for any other centers or any other areas which just give IV glutathione under, under any other conditions. So, finally, is glutathione a magic drug or a wonder drug? As a dermatologist, I will say sorry. There is no such wonder drug or no such magical drug that will give you abrupt skin whitening. You have to be committed. If you are coming to glutathione therapy, you have to be committed. This is a long term therapy, stick on to this therapy and once you get the desired results, never go off from this result, you have to stay on with it. So that is glutathione. So, glutathione, IV injections, oral preparations definitely produce skin lightening and always have a realistic expectation in your life. Or definitely have a realistic expectation and come to meet a dermatologist for this IV glutathione. Thank you.